now, Death Valley Days. Howdy, folks. I'm the old ranger, and I have another interesting true story for you about the historic Death Valley country. Maybe you think a lighthouse keeper's job is lonesome, but Jimmy Dayton's job was lonesomer. He had the god darn lonesomest job in the world until that thing called romance hit him. So let me tell you the story of Jimmy Dayton's treasure. Jimmy Dayton was the caretaker of Greenland Ranch in Death Valley back in the early 1890s. During the winter months, he had a ranch hand to keep him company. But come summer, even the Indians left the valley. And Jimmy was then the sole human being in all that desolation. Once in three months, he hitched up and drove down to Daggett, 130 miles away, to buy supplies and draw his pay. Well, let me have a usual 50 and put the rest to my account. All right. You're building up quite a bank balance over the years, Jimmy. Yeah, I'm saving it for a rainy day. But it never rains in Death Valley. <laughs> Selena's right, Jimmy. You ought to have yourself a little fun now and then when you come to town. Maybe I will get me a mule's ear full of suds and wash the alkali out of my throat. Good. Cut loose and enjoy yourself for a change. Bye, Miss Selena. Bye, Jimmy. Don't you ever feel like taking your own medicine? Huh? Oh, what medicine? Relax. Have fun. Trips are like fantastic. Well, there's no one to dance with. what you think. She plays the piano here at the rendezvous. When she ain't dancing. Give me a whiskey, Whitey. Who do you think you are making fresh remarks like that? I'm your lover boy, that's who. Slap your face. Try and do it. <laughs> Are you looking for a fight? Yeah. What's the idea? I'm just flying to your defense, ma'am. I'm quite capable of doing my own flying. And I'll thank you to mind your own business. <laughs> Mr. Matsuzala. <laughs> <laughs> I got a good mind to... Ah, lay off him. He ain't got long to live anyhow. <laughs> I'll learn you, Grandpa, not to sashay around with the ladies. My name ain't Grandpa, and I've got just as much right to sashay as the next fella. <laughs> My foot ain't in the grave quite yet. <laughs> what, what train is that? Number two westbound. Stop here to take on water. And give me the rest of my pay, will you? Quick, in cash if you got it. Where are you going, Jimmy? Uh, oh. Los Angeles. Oh. Be all right with you, sir, oh. if I take a few days off? Sure, go ahead. You got a vacation coming. Thanks. Oh. Keep Mag for me, will you, Selena? Oh. 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 You stay, you stay with Selena. Oh. 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 And Jimmy meant it, too. Let him laugh. He can show him. It took two weeks in the big city before Jimmy came back to show him. Jimmy. Well, how do you like the new scenery? I can't believe it's you. 
You really went to town, didn't you? Yep, I shot the wad. Not only got some new duds, but I got something above Timberline. She don't recognize that U.D. Cologne. Great guns. Anybody would think you're gonna get married. I'll let you in on a little secret, boss. Maybe I am. I'm gonna spark her anyhow. I'll show her I'm no Methuselah. Uh, how old are you, Jimmy? I'm 59. 59? Hmm. And I'm getting blame tired of being a bachelor, living all alone in Death Valley. Come on, Meg. What a life. Tickling the ivories in a dump like this. Number three, eastbound. I wish I was a boarder. Heading for New York. <laughs> I could sure do with some bright lights after being stuck in this dump. Have another drink, baby. I'm sick of drinking. Why don't anybody interest in Everland here? A big mining man. Or a promoter. Now listen, baby, I... Don't call me baby. I'm old enough to... I know how old you are. You're you get out of here, Thad Riker. And stay out. I've taken all the abuse I'm going to from you. All right, all right. But let me tell you one thing, sweetheart. That's about all you can expect to get from any man from now on. <laughs> Stranger. Somebody threw a bottle. <laughs> the manners of some of these folks around here. Yeah. Say, you're new in Daggett, ain't you? Well, I just uh, got in from Los Angeles. <laughs> you gonna stay around for a while? In our midst? Well, I'm on my way out to my ranch. Oh, you're a cattleman. Well, not exactly. You see, I, uh, <clears throat> I have other interests. Whitey, bring the gentleman a drink. I don't believe I touch your name. Mr. James Dayton, Esquire. Of Los Angeles. And Death Valley. Death Valley? How romantic. Change your face. You know, I just love the desert. <laughs> it's sort of a religion with me. Well, here's luck. Now, if you'll stand over there. Who, me? Uh -huh, I'm not the sheriff. I mean, I'm, I'm not the bridegroom. I'm, I'm just a witness. Uh, he, uh, I, I, I'm the bridegroom. Oh, well, there's no doubt as to who's the bride. <laughs> No. Now, if you'll stand over there, yes. please, and you directly behind. And do you mind standing? As sheriff of this county, uh, as justice of the peace of this county, it is my privilege and pleasure to unite this couple in wedlock. Uh, do you, James Dayton, take this lady for your lawful wedded wife? Welcome home, Mrs. Dayton. My, what a trip. Is this the bunkhouse? No, this is where I, uh, where we live. Where we live? Yes. But what about the, the ranch hands and the wranglers and the cowboys? Oh, uh, oh, there he comes now. <laughs> well, I didn't recognize you, Jimmy. All dressed up like Mrs. Astor's pet horse. <laughs> Vic, uh, I want you to I want you to meet uh, Mrs. Dayton. Mrs. Dayton? Yeah. Why, you old coot, don't tell me you got hitched. Well, you don't think I'd be out here with him if we weren't. What's more, my good man, that's no way for a hired hand to address the owner of this ranch. Owner? 
Did they throw the ranch in with the wife, Jimmy? <laughs> well, no. You see, Flory, I don't, I don't really own the ranch, but I'm, I'm in charge here. I... He's the caretaker. Is that true? Yes. But I'm, I'm practically my own boss. But you work for wages. Yes. And you pretended to me you was a big cattle king? Uh, no, no, Flory. Deceived me into marrying you with all your talk about your, your interests? Well, I, I didn't mean to, Flory. You see, you, you jumped at conclusions. Jumped, did I? Well, believe me, I'm jumping right out of this hole so fast it'll make your hair curl. If you had any. Oh, you didn't fool me with that wig. Not for a moment you didn't. It ain't a wig. It's a toupee. But I was willing to put up with all your infirmities, because I thought at least you had money. Now I find out you're having a red cent. I have got money, Flory. Plenty of it. Put away. Where? It's, uh... It's buried. Buried? You think you're Captain Kidd or somebody? It's buried on the ranch here. A whole bag of gold. At the end of a rainbow? No, under a tree. Which one? There's trees all around here. I ain't saying. Are you lying to me? Of course not. You can take my trunk out of the buckboard. I've got the dishes done, Flory. I'm going over now and mend some fencing. Hope you won't be too lonesome while I'm gone. Don't worry about me. I'll keep busy. Take it easy. Cook it for supper. What's sage hen? It's a, it's a kind of kind of a bird. Can it fly? Oh, sure. <laughs> You're welcome to it. Anything that can fly and don't leave this country ain't worth eating. Here, Meg. Take it. Take it to Vic, Meg. Vic likes sage hen. You, uh, you look tired. I'm all right. You ought to have something more comfortable, Flory. Sitting all day. I, I'll see to it you have a rocking chair. See the color of your money. You don't trust me, Whitey? For one measly drink? It's cash at the graveside. That's a fine way to treat an old customer who spent plenty at this bar. Listen, fella, you never paid for the drinks you had here. She did. You mooched off for you from the day you got to Daggett till the day she quit. But you're not mooching off me. It's cash on the line before you get as much as a bottle of soda pop around here. Have I made myself clear? Where is Meg? 
There's nothing there. I lied to her. I'm driving into Daggett tomorrow. So soon? I thought it was once in three months you went. Well, something's come up. Business. Oh. Thought maybe you might like to know so you could be packing. I'm not going. What? I'm staying right here. Flory! You mean you, you'd rather stay here? I'd much rather. For a while yet. Oh. Well, I, I, I don't like the idea of leaving you alone. I don't mind. Maybe I could get one of the Paiute women to come over and sleep in the house. Do you think I need a chaperone? No, but I thought maybe you might be nervous. Well, I'm not. I'm not nervous in the least. I haven't a nerve in my body. I... Oh, for heaven's sakes, will you stop sitting there staring at me like that? You might have handsome when you get mad, Flory. The first time I met you, and you tied into me, that's the time I fell in love with you. You've come to the wrong place for a handout, young fella. A grub steak. All we've got to offer is jobs. Yeah, and the mines. At four dollars a day. Three fifty for muckers. Well, well. If it ain't the little guy that tried to pick a fight with me at the rendezvous. I come to draw my pay. But you said my back pay that you've been saving for me. Well, how much of it? The whole shebang. All of it? And what's more, I'd like it in gold. These are your life savings, Jimmy. You uh, planning on putting them into something? Yes, the ground. The ground? What do you mean, Jimmy? Well, I told my wife I had a sack of gold buried on the ranch under a tree. It was, uh, it was the only way I could get her to stay. She, she's been hunting for it ever since. And now you're going to put it there? Yes. I couldn't let Flory down and have her think I was a liar. Some pretty from Daggett, Flory. How was things in Daggett? Mm, about as usual. Oh, by the way, uh, I run into that young fella. What fella? That fella that uh, got fresh with you that time in the rendezvous. Sad? Well, how was he? What did he say? Did, did he ask about me? Uh, no, he he was just leaving the company office as I come in. Oh. There's one handsome fella. What are you doing here? Well, I, 
Well, I came to see you. What do you think? Are you crazy? No crazy I've always been. You're my blood, baby. I can't get you out. <sighs> if Jimmy should oh, find out... dried up mummy. I had no business marrying him, Flory. Maybe not, but, but I... But there's nothing for you here. We're going away together, you and me. I can't live without you. Oh, you're in my blood too, Thad. What's that? Money. A sack of money. Yeah, uh, for you and me. Jimmy's treasure. How did you find it? Heard him talking in Daggett, trailed him out, watched him bury. Oh. So it wasn't there all the time. No, he was lying to you. <laughs> Take us a long ways, baby. Well, how about it? We'll leave this very night. Well, Mag, it looks like it was just you and me from now on. sheriff on you, you low-down, dirty sneak. Put it away for Jimmy, where it'll be safe. Why are you doing this, Mrs. Dayton? <laughs> Mrs. Dayton. Because he's treated me so decent. The only man in my life who ever has. All he asked for was to make me happy. Look after me. He loves you. You take the money back to him yourself. Oh, no, I... I couldn't face him. I... I'd be too ashamed. You fool. Here you've got the most precious thing in the world. The love and devotion of a good man, and you throw it all away because of silly pride. You go back to him now. How? I... I've got no way. Oh, that can be arranged. I'll speak to Mr. Gary. We'll take you there ourselves. Sorry. I brought it back to you, Jimmy. Your treasure. My treasure. Pretty wonderful thing, love. Yes, it is. Selena. Why, Selena, I didn't know that you... You never took the trouble to find out. Oh, Selena. Jimmy Dayton rounded out his life at Greenland Ranch, now Furnace Creek Ranch. And when he died, was buried only a few miles away, 
where today you can see a bronze plaque that marks the bit of earth dedicated forever to one of Death Valley's pioneers.